Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain you how you can change the start image, the start logo within the SAP GUI really easily and really quickly on your own. And then let's get started. So the steps we are going to do are described also on the extras and then administration information or also executable with the key combination control shift and F8. And here what we're basically doing is we would like to change the logo or the picture in the right hand side of the initial screen. This is what I would like to describe to you in detail and I would like to show you how I can change this picture. So basically first of all we are going to upload the picture, the file in the transaction SMW0. Then after doing this, then we are linking this file in the table SSM underscore cast. And that is basically all we have to do. So first of all, as mentioned, we are opening up the transaction SMW0. And then we are right now in the SAP web repository. There you have to select binary data for web RFC applications. Then you have to click on this find button or you could also execute the F8 key on your keyboard. And then basically you have the ability to search for existing files. So we would like to just execute this. And then over here you have to select the create button. And here what is basically important that you define one object name. So in my case, it's set underscore waterfall and in description, a small description. So for example, just waterfall. And you have to remember your object name because that object name you have to enter in the table SSM underscore cast. So right now I am copying this object name and here with the import button or with the key combination shift and F6, you can import your file. So basically here I have prepared this file already. So I will select this and then here you have to remember because now the SAP GUI tries to access your local computer. So I would like to allow. And here basically because you are making some changes, you have the ability to transport your changes also to the quality onto the productive system. In my case, just for demo purposes, I don't want to link it to a specific package. So I would like to create as a local object to link it to the dollar TMP package. So to local package. And now I have created my object name. In some cases, if you might get some, some errors because of the MIME type, then you have to be careful also to create your MIME type. And you can do this under settings and then define MIME types. And in our case, depending on your file that you would like to use, but in our case, we are using the .jpg, so the GPG file and if you want to you can also create a new one with image slash jpeg and then name extension with asterisk dot gp uh, jpg so this is already there in the system i don't have to create this so i go go a couple of steps steps back so and as mentioned we now want to change the table ssm underscore cast so to do this we are opening up the transaction code sm30 and here we are entering the table ss underscore cast and then you click on maintain you have to be careful that the table itself is uh, cross client this is totally fine and here in field start image there you have to paste in or you have to type in your object name of your file if you want to you can also do some settings for example for resizing and so on i think the description is really nice you can you can read it in detail some uh, sap notes or one sap note is at some point uh, linked you can you can read it and look it in detail if you want to and what we now have to do we simply have to save our changes so we click on save 
this is fine. And now what we would like to do is we go to the start image. So, and after logging on to the SAP system, once again, we see directly the changes. So if I want to, for example, I go once again in here and I go to resize image to yes, I save it. And I go back, I log in once again. And after logging in again to the SAP system, we can directly see our changes. So we have successfully changed the start image in the SAP GUI. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, put them in the video section. Like this video and do not forget to subscribe to this great YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.